perhaps we also have some uh, information to put out to help with the community effort on keep on the uh, test net to keep things running smoothly. So I've got some information to put out here. And Philippe, should I go ahead and do a screen share? Can I uh, hit that button and put- Go for it. Box? Okay. Go for it. All right, so we'll, we'll brief, a brief description of the problem that we're seeing it. Philippe's seeing it. I can see it. All the pool operators can see it. So the pool operators have this problem visible to them where the network is forking. The problem this causes for the delegators, the people who are delegating to the stake pools, is it's also interfering with the dataless wallet. It's causing network interference. And the problem is there are some pools that have discrepancies in how their nodes are configured and running multiple nodes with the same configurations. And that's causing problems for the network. And uh, currently, there's not a fix in place, but uh, IOHK should probably prioritize on getting a fix in place for this problem because it's causing the forkiness in the network. Um, what I'm going to do is screen share the awesome website, adapools.org. Adapools.org is a great place to go find the best ROI on a pool and identify you know, what your goals are and what, what pools you would like to delegate to. So adapools.org and this screen share here. Let me see if I can get this up. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, uh, Philippe, is it uh, showing okay? Yes, it is. All right. So, on adapools.org, there, there's a blacklist. It's adapools.org slash BL. It gives a blacklist of pools that have discrepancies in their configuration that may be causing problems for the network. And uh, this isn't like a permanent list. So what can we do to correct the discrepancies in the network is if you are a Daedalus or your Roy user and you're delegating to one of these pools, you might want to consider not delegating to one of these pools until they correct the discrepancies. Uh, otherwise, if you're delegating to them, it allows them to make blocks. And if they're making blocks and they still have these discrepancies in their network, it will cause forking, which causes a problem for the entire network. So you got three organizations, and each organization has a responsibility to put in effort uh, to to support the network. And that is, if you're a delegator, maybe if you see these pools showing up often, you know, not a one-time snapshot, but if you see them showing up over and again, over and over again, you might want to consider undelegating to those pools. Um, if you are a pool operator, you need to consider your configurations and how you're running your pools so that you don't cause network forks. And also for IOHK, they need to implement parts of the code. We know this is still early test net. Uh, we understand that IOHK has been working through the holidays and been working very hard, but um, needs to up the priority on correct, on putting a uh, code in place that will prevent these kind of problems from occurring. So uh, I hope I covered everything there. Is that pretty much, uh, Covered, Philippe, what I missed on Yeah, that. I, I think you hit all the points. I think you hit all the, the pertinent points.